Bailey's Bakery. Yeah, not super innovative, but alliterative. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Do you think she meant girlfriend like how some people call their friends their girlfriends? No, no, how did she say it? My girlfriend doesn't like trying my pastries. Mm, I think she has a girlfriend. How'd you get your cupcakes, Green? You tried one? Mm-hmm. When? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd finally come and check out the shop. Do you want to try something? Yeah, it's the only reason I came in here. go that was the trailer for the holiday club streaming right now on tello films another tello films classic we love tello films over here on nr dub nerds rule the world i'm kuya p joining me <laughs> to talk all things the holiday clip is one of the stars i have mac Sheely, who plays sam hello mac hello. <laughs> hi how are you I'm wonderful. Thank you for your time. Um, we are getting into the holiday season. And what better than a great Tells Films Christmas holiday classic. Yeah. And uh, now we have a new one in the Holiday Club uh, out now. Uh, can you tell me about uh, a love for holiday films when your character is totally not about the holidays? I know. Sam, um, tell no. me about booking this gig, working with Alexandra Suarez uh, and, the whole and the whole gamut. Yeah, I mean, it was so funny to get to play a character who hates the holidays because I love the holidays. And this is why we we're acting. That. Yeah, it's why this is why we're performers. It's why we get to like dip into a whole new world. I broadened my own horizons. I tried to see the negative side of the street, um, and it was fun. But uh, we talked about that the first day on set about our favorite holidays and all that kind of stuff. My favorite is Valentine's Day. I really like an agnostic holiday. I like to be able to just be about you and the person you're obsessed with. Usually it comes with a good meal, good wine, good food, good company. Can't complain. Um, some of the other holidays are a little boring, but that's my favorite. Um, <laughs> it was wild booking this job because I was a Rush to Veil casting. So I had four days between booking it and being on set, which was bananas for me. I was touring a solo show of mine, Leaky, which is about digestive trauma and comedy at the same time and the American healthcare system, which is wacky. Um, and I was touring that show on the East Coast and got the call from my agent that they were in need of a Sam. I loved the script when I was initially called in for the role of Sam. So I was genuinely like on the floor so excited about this I was in the car did a chemistry read with Allie on FaceTime I pulled over on the side of the road while I was literally driving to this show that I was about to do that same night and I was like god I hope I book this because this is like such a great it's a great script it seems like a really fun process and I'm so glad I did when I got to Ashland Ohio Allie greeted me and we went through the script a lot because obviously I'd had about four days to look at it and it was just, you know, kismet. Everything kind of fell together in the right way. We had really great chemistry and it was just such a nice, such a nice thing to be able to do. I turned 30 on set. So we were filming on my birthday Aww. and the whole crew came out and sang happy birthday, which was very cute and very sweet, especially because they had only known me for like 14 hours, but um, it was just a really good vibe. Everyone on the entire crew was so talented and I've made some really, really incredible lifelong friendships. Our DP, Sid Lawson, I've already worked with her on another film that my partner and I wrote here in Los Angeles. It's called Jealous Cat. I'll let you infer what it's about. Hopefully it'll be coming out very soon, but I, I just can't express how fun it was to work with such talented, incredible artists and to have such a queer set. That was like a dream come true. Can't, can't get better. I love that energy. I love that energy. That's beautiful. <laughs> so good vibes and just chemistry yeah. will come from that, you know, Absolutely. and when you trust in your set family, uh, it's just, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, Cause you have to build quickly. You have oh, a love yeah. story we're doing here. You with... jump right in. And we did like, I th I mean, we did shoot uh, at least the first day was pretty chronological. So that was helpful because 
Allie and I had never met each other. So we filmed the first scene on my first day of shooting, which was great because we had that awkwardness of like figuring each other out and trying to test the waters a little bit. Um, but it was it was so nice to have, you know, that be the way we started, because then, you know, as we started to get to know each other better as collaborators, you know, obviously we built the relationship for Sam and Bailey and it just it was such a great process. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And it, so, yeah, that definitely helps to make it because it is a build yes. watching the film uh, with uh -huh. these two characters and their relationship. Yeah. And I just love that in the in and outs of mm -hmm. how things just aren't exactly that easy. Um, if you haven't seen it, y'all, again, Holiday Club is streaming right now on Tello's Films. And because uh, it's not that quick and dirty in relationships and when you oh. find out about each other and then they meet me in a relationship. Um, totally. Uh, Again, working with Alexandra, working with the rest of this cast, because you don't exactly hear like this loner, uh, you know, tech worker while she has friends at her shop. And, yep. you know, you have very little friends. So, you know, <laughs> what was that chemistry like? Um, and playing, I guess, into that since you didn't really know each other very well and you have to just kind of be on and recording uh, yeah. to perform. Um, and if you could, yeah. again, again, talk, working with Alexandra, uh, maybe just some of the scenes uh, that you, you know, kind of put together with her. Yeah. Yeah. Allie is one of the best directors I've worked with. And I think she's such a natural at getting great performances out of actors that are really natural, really, you know, realistic and rooted in real emotion. She's so easy to work with. She's incredibly competent on a set. She knows her way around just about everything. And she's such a good problem solver. So even if a moment isn't you know, particularly what she wants in in that specific moment. She's great at being light on her feet and quick to adapt to whatever the performer needs. You know, she's a great just encourage encouragement kind of fairy god person <laughs> a little bit. She's a really, really talented director. I couldn't believe that she wore so many hats during the course of this shoot, acting, directing, and writing, especially leading a film too. It's an incredible feat and I have no idea how her brain works, but I'm so glad it does work that way because she's so easy to work with and I can't wait to continue to make a ton of films with her. We had such a good time and I think she really set up the script well to kind of evolve through the seasons of Sam and Bailey's friendship, their almost relationship, their sad kind of fracture, and then their eventual I won't spoil it, but I kind of spoiled it. <laughs> <Their eventual. laughs> I Well, I was cheering. I was like, oh, no, because yeah. I went on this journey. As a, as a viewer, we go on this yeah. sweet meetup. Uh, just I love how y'all <laughs> met. You cute, huh? <laughs> And totally put you on blast. Yes, all the cupcakes are for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, like, but... relax. Like, please. <laughs> that uh, was such a fun part of the shoot, too, was I'm, I have a ton of food allergies, and I had to tell them, especially when I booked it pretty last minute, like, I'm so sorry. I'm vegan. I, like, can't eat anything with egg or dairy in it. I will have a pretty bad allergic reaction. <laughs> They had to make so many things vegan, but they were so good. And I don't eat a ton of sweets normally because I'm kind of cautious about allergy stuff. But I tell I got so hyper from my first day of shooting because of the like cinnamon strudel and <laughs> so good. Everyone that was baking those goods should be given like a James Beard award. They're, it was so <laughs> delicious, like truly so good. I was going to ask you, how different is Sam from Mac? And, oh my god! And wasn't the cinnamon though the one you didn't like? I love cinnamon. That's number but that's, one. But it wasn't Sam. She didn't Sam like. Sam hates cinnamon. Sam hates cinnamon. Couldn't be me. I love cinnamon. I put it in everything. It's ridiculous. But I, to a fair degree, I am very much Sam. I've just been, you know, a performer for so long that I like. Not. I know how to like. Yeah, turn it on. Whatever. I'm I'm kind of like an extroverted introvert. And I think Sam is a little bit too. Um, I always find the most fun roles are the ones that are pretty close to home. And the goofy parts of Sam are totally me. The like this motion that happens a lot in the film, that I don't know where that came from. That's like some Aaron Samuels shit that I didn't even plan. But it was very fun. And um, I think it was nice to be able to play someone who's quite grounded and just a little bit of a like tiny teddy bear. I don't know. It was very fun. I haven't gotten to play a lot of roles like that. And it was really nice to be able to play someone that felt like me, but like a part of myself that I don't always get to 
put as the like face forward part, I guess. Oh, definitely. Definitely. You want yeah. it. Yeah. Cause I get typecast all the time. I'm a thug. I I'm all it. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> so I love that you love cinnamon because I love it. I love <laughs> that was it. like getting me. I'm like, who can I'm hate that? That's does bananas, like cinnamon. right? I don't know anybody who hates cinnamon right? and I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. So, you know, playing this relationship out and showing how a real relationship works. Um, you know, what do you hope the audience takes from this uh, and, and how, you know, things can go up and down and, but, you know, knowing what you want for yourself, I, I thought it was really great what Alexander the writing and, and the two of y'all performing in the, the holiday club. Uh, what do you hope people take away when they see the holiday club? Yeah, I think it's definitely for me, the message is be brave and be bold about your feelings. If you are in love with your best friend, you can't just swallow that. You have to tell them, tell them in a nice way, tell them in a respectful way, tell them in a way that takes care of the friendship that you've very obviously invested heavily in. But be brave and shoot your shot with the people you care about because you can't swallow those feelings forever. It just makes everything awkward. It makes weird resentment pop up if you just kind of squish down those feelings. So I think if if I can leave anybody with anything after this movie, it's be brave and be honest about your feelings and take a shot when you can because you never know. Somebody else could be feeling the same way. And if they're not, then it gives you the opportunity to navigate that with care as opposed to like awkwardly festering in silence. I just think we all should be a little bit more emotionally effusive with one another. I think that's <laughs> the message overall. And I think that's what the film on the page and between Ali and I that we developed through through these characters' journeys, that's what it's going for is just really take trying to take care of the people you care about and being honest about your feelings up front. That bravery, it's hard, but if you do it, it, it can be really rewarding. Completely agree. Love that. Love that. Love the message in this. And hopefully everyone can take away from that uh, beautiful lesson. Um, Tell those films. This film, you know, is available on there. Um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of their other works, but I have. We're, we celebrate them. Uh, I am very much an ally to my LGBTQ community. Uh, a lot of the of here at NRWR of the community. W why do you think it's just so tremendous and powerful? Because we don't get enough of these on Hallmark Channel. You know, all these, and I just love that. At least Tell those films delivers that. Uh, what do you What do you think about just that representation? Yeah, it's so important to me as a creative and as a queer person that our stories are being told from an authentic lens by queer people for queer people. Um, and, you know, for the broader community, I think it's just important to see queer people visible in narratives like The Holiday Club, just two people falling in love and coming together over the course of a movie with really pure intentions, good hearted, uh, good hearted, good people. And that's, you know, that's just the truth that anything, anything goes because queer people are just people and we come from everywhere. As a writer and as an actor, these are the stories stories that I feel passionate about telling. And I was so happy to get to do this movie with such a queer crew, such a queer cast, and particularly, you know, the trio of Ali and Sid Lawson, our DP, and I, it was just an incredible, incredible moment to sit every day at the end of rap and look around and be like, wow, I'm really making a movie with the community at this moment, especially in a small town like Ashland. It was a really powerful thing to be able to do and i want more and more and more <laughs> yes 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 yes. let's go let's support it that's why i love films like i'm all about representation as a person of color uh as an ally <laughs> to the queer community um oh. when people see as the, my favorite thing is when you see it you can achieve it and so when we have more films like this Absolutely. you know people know that we are loved and we can be accepted and all of that. So just, I love this. And it's now also a holiday film too. And we love our holiday films and we need more. So uh, <laughs> shout out to you, Matt, yes. in the holiday club. Uh, I love Thank that. You. Definitely. Um, before we go, you know, again, congrats on the holiday club available right now. Tello films. You brought up your, your show leaky that you were kind of <laughs> doing for a little while. I just want to show yeah. some more love to you and, and everything Thanks. you got going on. Um, can you yeah. talk maybe about that project and any other projects you have coming up? 
Yeah, Leaky I toured last year. It was a solo show about digestive trauma inspired by real events, which was pretty wild. Uh, but I had a really good time touring that. I am, you know, I started out as a playwright. I write a lot. I'm merging into TV and film now. I'm very excited about that to bring some authentically queer stories to screen, stage, and everywhere in between. Um, I'm working right now on a play about blood donation called Canopy, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm really excited to kind of mesh what I love about science. And of course, there are a lot of queer characters in this play. Um, but I'm excited to have a play that is rooted in advocacy work, because for me, art and action are the things that mean the most when they're paired together. It's yes. like a really good, really good way to use your brain if you're an artist making art that you can accompany action with. So this place called Canopy, it's about the blood crisis that we are currently facing in the US and globally. And hopefully whenever a theater picks it up, they will also host a mobile blood drive in in you know conjunction with the play happening that's my dream and my goal um but that play is going to be developed over the course of the next year i'm really excited about it we're having a reading in new york coming up on december the 9th that is closed but hopefully we'll have some public ones in the future and then i've got some film stuff in the works too that i'm really excited about i wrote a queer holiday movie that my writing partner and i are really excited to hopefully get into production on next year so lots of good things coming up and hopefully some more acting roles too that would be let's very let's go i'll put that energy into the universe because Thank you i so love much. it right back to you i want you to be working yeah. on editing films and everything in between Oh, thank you so much. I would love that. Uh, yes, that is one thing. I got into doing this because I love the, our craft, our industry, and I keep getting typecast. So I'm like, let me yeah. find my own lane. So uh, definitely an honor yeah. and a pleasure to speak with you. And as those projects like come what? along, please, I'd love to have you back so I can give you your virtual flowers yeah. and, and show you Aww. love and put it out <laughs> to the world. Um, just, Likewise, I love that. stay in touch. Let me know what you're up to. Definitely, definitely. Um, Yes, and uh, and we get into the arts to inspire and entertain and educate all at the same time. What you're saying about with what you're trying to do with Canopy, I love that because that's everything that I'm trying to do. So I it's, love a, it's, that. it's a responsibility that we have, I think, as artists. You know? Yes, it's not just about entertainment. It's also about what you take away tangibly from the theater that you're going to see a film in or the stage that you're watching performers live on. You want to take something home with you. So it, it's sort of my my ethos is to leave people with something tangible they can do or take home. And I think it's so important in our digital world to have those tangible things that we can either do or take with us from a show, from a performance. So, you know, the Holiday Club, take away some bravery. Don't be afraid to ask your best friend on a date if you really feel it. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully much more soon. Love that. Perfect way to close it out, Mac. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I will be following you. you and I encourage everybody else to follow Mac Sheely as well. Uh, I'm going to have thanks. her links in the description below and go over to Telos Films and check out the Holiday Club streaming right now. That is the amazing Mac Sheely. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. I All love right. it. <laughs>